Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you a fun circuit I made yesterday. I was uh, really bored, so I figured, why not make uh, a solar-powered uh, distress beacon? Yeah, it employs a supercapacitor, so it can be charged hundreds of thousands of times. Um, and it uses a 1.5 to 5 volt booster, a PIC-10F222, and a 433 uh, megahertz transmitter with an encoder on it so let me show you uh, let me show you the inside by the way these two uh, solar cells are uh, 5 volts at 50 milliamps short circuit current tied in parallel so as you can see top uh, pops right off if I were ever to leave it outside for a long period of time uh, I would use a little bit of a uh, coating around the edges uh, hot glue just so that the elements could never get to the insides Solar panels charge up the supercapacitor. There's a diode underneath the PCB just to make sure that no stored energy on the supercap will drain back through the solar cells uh, in the evening. Um, what happens is this super, the supercap can charge up to 5.5 volts. It's a 5.5 volt, 1.5 volt uh, cap, but with the diode in there, it won't charge past uh, 4.3 volts. And the 1.5 to 5 volt booster can handle up to 5 volts of the input but it will only charge up to 5 volts of the output when there's more than 1.5 volts of the input. Here's the so the 1.5 to 5 volt booster powers the transmitter board and the PIC 10F222. The PIC 10F222 uh, has an analog to digital converter pin that's actually connected to the positive terminal of the supercapacitor and it will only transmit the beacon when there's more than 1.5 volts on the supercapacitor uh, positive lead because if there's less than 1.5 volts of the input of the booster the output will be wonky it won't be a straight 5 volts and when that happens the pick will sh probably shut off and start up again uh, several times because when the voltage is in that area it might mean that it's overcast outside so I want to make sure that the pick knows when there's 5 volts on it and it knows when there's 5 volts at, at the input when there's more than 1.5 volts at the input of the 5 volt booster, 1.5 to 5 volt booster. I know it's getting a bit confusing. Anyway, when there is five, when it does detect more than 1.5 volts on the capacitor, what it does is it starts transmitting a beacon of about a one hertz beacon, roughly, just like on off, on off, on off, on off, uh, through the tra through a transistor on this trans transmitter board. So what I'll do is today it's too it's too uh, it's too overcast out to give you a good to give you a uh, a real example of how this works because it won't charge up. So what I'm going to do is I will manually charge it up, close it up, and I'll bring it up to my computer speaker so you can hear it transmitting. So right now uh, it's, it's transmitting a relatively weak signal, but it could probably be picked up from about uh, 25 meters away. Obviously, this serves no real purpose. It's just a prototype. The cool thing about this is the fact that um, it just keeps charging itself during the sun, and it'll just keep transmitting. So, I mean, if you were on an island and you had a transmitter like this that could be charged on a supercapacitor uh, using solar cells, and it could transmit, it had a nice antenna on it, and it could transmit an SOS signal, uh, you know, hundreds of miles <laughs> then that would be actually pretty useful but obviously this is just something I made for fun I can just put this out in the sun and because it's super capacitor, it's built in a super capacitor it'll last potentially forever as long as it's sealed the booster might give out the solar cells might give out obviously if you leave solar cells out in, in the winter time and the summer time without any type of protection then they'll die too but this is just a prototype, something you built just for fun. There's no real practicality to this specific device that I've built, but I just thought I'd show it off to you because I was, I, I built it just for fun. So, um, check us out at engineeringshock.com and electronic lessons today. We've got tons of new stuff coming, including uh, RFID modules, easy RFID modules, uh, voice recognition systems, standalone. Really cool stuff. Lots of kits, ultrasonic kits. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.